All right, so I have uh, an Etta James sample right here. All I can do is cry. I'm gonna go ahead and play that. All I can do is cry. All I can do is. Okay, what I want to do is I want to show you how Transfuser works. I'm not gonna go into great detail because in the future I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna do an entire tutorial just on Transfuser. But I just want to show you just how cool this plugin is, especially when you're working with samples and stuff like that. So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to left click on this WAV file and then I'm going to bring it on in. I'm going to drag it on over to the top here. And it's going to ask me how do I want to import this? Do I want to bring it in as a drum sequence? Do I want to bring it in as a time stretch sequence? Or do I want to just slice it up? And for right now, I'm just going to bring it in as a time stretched audio sequence. So I'm going to click OK. OK, so what that does, it brings in that um, the phrase module. All right. And first thing I want to do is I just want to make sure that I'm on a transpose phrase. And then I'm going to click phrase. And as you can see it down here, okay, now I can trigger that sound, okay, from my keypad. You know what I mean? So that's one cool thing you can do. And you can also take this, all right, and then you can start adding effects to it. So let's say uh, we want to add a little delay to it. So I'm going to left click on any one of these here, okay? Go on the phrase. I'm going to left click on that, load, and then I'm going to go down to delay. We'll just add a little delay to that. And uh, let's see, we're going to go to a mono slap delay. Okay, so now when I hit it. All I can do, I can do. All I can do. You know what I mean? So you can just add different effects. We've got a delay there, load up another effect, put a you know a little um put a flanger on there, you know? All I can do is all I can do is all I can do is You know what I mean? So that's one cool thing. You can just, you know, uh load in samples into here and then just completely manipulate the audio. All I can do is Really, really cool feature.